Hey everybody, welcome to GamifyClassroom.com. I am Scott and today we are going to be looking at JigsawPuzzles.io. Super fun game. It's just like putting together a puzzle on your table except you're doing it virtually. I've been using this a lot with my students in homework club and after class when students are done with all of their work. It's just been a fun, engaging time. Now I've had some questions. I had a question on Twitter of how do you do multiple puzzles? So if you're doing teams in class, this could be like a station where they all have to assemble a puzzle in their own teams. And I'll show you how to make multiple puzzles and then uh, my suggestions on how you could get those links out to all of your teams in your class. So hope you enjoy this tutorial and uh, let's get started. All right, so you're going to log into jigsawpuzzles.io and you're going to see all these uh, puzzles that people are using in real time and sharing together. And you're going to click sign in and sign in with Google. Now, once you're done signing in with Google, there's going to be two options for you at the top, My Puzzles and Catalog. We're going to go to Catalog. This is where we select our puzzle. So I'm going to select a puzzle just from the home page, but you could browse. And uh, this is what the puzzle will look like when it's finished. You click Set Up Puzzle, and then you click the size. Make sure it's private and press play. Now, the size would be determined by what you're doing in class that day. Uh, it will show you an ad. I'm skipping the ad because we don't do advertisements, but you can zoom in and out, drag left and right, and you can just really get a sense of the puzzle. Click uh, on the preview and you'll see what the puzzle looks like. Click on invite and you'll get the invite link that you can copy and paste. I'll talk about that later. Uh, click on who's in here players and that'll list them. And then the way you show who's in there is you go to settings and change my name and color and you can change your name and your color so that it's identified as the person. Now yours will still look white to you, but it'll look like green to everyone else. So it's kind of nice, you just put the puzzles in, the pieces are already in the, the, the orientation they're supposed to be, and once you get them into a spot, they get locked in. So one will get locked in in the corner, other one will not because it's loose still, it's not in its permanent location. Same with if you get two pieces together, uh, you'll see that they are attached together forever, and once they get into their spot, they will be locked in there as well there's also a chat in the corner so if you ask a question out loud on google classroom or whatever virtual classroom you're in you can still chat so you press that little logo in the top says jigsaw or it's the jigsaw logo and you go back to catalog and let's select that same picture again and we're going to select multiple puzzles of the same kind to have multiple uh, teams playing at the same time so same thing here you're going to get that invite code uh, and then once you go back to the jigsaw icon you go to my puzzles and you'll see all the puzzles you set up. I think I've set up three so far. So each one of these puzzles will have its own identifying uh, link invite code. And here's my suggestion is if you're going to use this as like a, uh, a part of your game, if they have to assemble a puzzle to move on to the next level, I'm going to suggest that we put together something like this. It's a um, jam board that I've just thrown up really quick with four teams on it and I've just pasted each individual link into that jam board. Give your students access to it through Google Classroom or however else you give them access to a jam board, but really any document that they can all share. And I'm going to add all the different links to uh, that grid and then they can access them. And what's great is that as you refresh the page on this screen, what you're going to get is real time updates on how well they've accomplished it. Right now, the one on the far right says two out of 80. The other two say zero out of 80 if there were 80 pieces and um, 80 puzzle pieces. So hope this really helps you. Hope this tutorial gives you some thoughts on kind of how to approach this as a game. Uh, if you don't use it as part of a game inside of your classroom, it's just a fun time to hang out. I've found that my most quiet students have come out of their shell using simple games like Jigsaw Puzzle. IO. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time. Bye.